hello and welcome to my channel this is Gabin from design tribe and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to take your background from looking like this to this with just a few simple steps so let's get right to it now the first thing we want to do now is to create a new project and once that project is created we just proceed to add a gradient background you can use a few color of your desire any color of your desire you can use a solid color adjustment layer but in this case I want to use a gradient layer and then I just add the hue and a saturation layer there and I hue it like this increase the saturation a little and I'm happy with that so the next thing we are going to be doing is to create our custom brush because actually that design is achieved by using a custom brush so we are going to be creating a custom brush at this point which we are going to use now to apply the effect to our background so how do we create this custom brush now we are going to do that by using the pen tool to create the shape which we are going to use in order to create the custom brush okay so to do that I'm just going to select my pen tool make sure path is selected up here and not shapes and then I draw the shape that we are going to be using for this exercise so when I do that draw another like this and like that and I think that is perfect and okay so in case you are finding it difficult in using the pen tool I did a video before on how to use the pen tool so please if you have problems using the pen tool you can watch that video on my channel I'm just going to be leaving a link of that video on this video so the next thing you want to do after creating this part is to stroke the part we are going to be stroking this part with a brush so we are going to make sure we get our brush settings right before we proceed to do this so to do this you just have to select your brush you right click and make sure that your brush the hardness of your brush is at maximum that's hundred percent and the size of your brush is at three pixels and then the color the foreground color of your brush or the color of your brush is set to black once that is done you now go back now to your pen tool you right click on the path you created and then we click on stroke path and under the stroke part menu we click on this drop down arrow and we make sure brush is selected once brush is selected we take ok so it has now meet the stroke so we just need to go now and uh, select this part once we select the path we can delete it we just delete the path and you can see that's how the brush actually looks it's a black brush so it's a black stroke sorry it's not yet a brush this is what we are going to be using to create our brush our custom brush so what we have to do now to create the custom brush is we hide the background layers completely we hide every background layer that we find here and then we go to image we take define brush preset once we click on define brush preset you can see here that we have the preset already set here we take ok and once you selected ok you can restore your background layer and then delete this previous layer so if you just go to normal brush you change your color to white and uh, you create a new layer like this let's just see how that brush looks like in the default mode the color is black let's change it to white that's how the brush looks like by default you see that's how it looks like by default so we are going now to manipulate this brush in a way that we can use it now to have that uh, beautiful design on our background so how do we achieve that we just go now to windows brush settings and under brush settings the first thing you want to do is to click on the brush tip shape that's it brush tip shape once you click there you reduce your spacing to two percent 
and once you've reduced your spacing to two percent you come to shape dynamics and under shape dynamics you can now change that to fade change the setting here to fade and you increase this to 600 and now your brush is good to go and if you are not using a graphics tablet you can increase your smoothing here to a hundred percent so that you can have a smooth shape as you draw so you then go now to your brush size you can bring it down to say 400 or 500 and then you begin to draw so this is how we, we do as you click you allow you see it automatically draws that for you so you just need to play with it that's it so you can you do you have to do several tries because actually you cannot do the same thing twice it's difficult to have the same effect twice so you are just going to do several tries so assuming that we are happy with this one which we have created or let me just create another one we use the brush we create uh, another layer and we draw like this okay assuming that we are good with this one what i'm going to do now is just double click here and i activate gradient overlay once the gradient overlay is activated you now see that our design is now becoming interesting so i just need to go again to my gradient tweak the colors to whatever color i like so i can go to the blues I can tweak it to this one now see it has a nice effect you can choose another color like this mm, i think i like this one so you can still create another layer modify the size of your brush you can still reduce the brush size a little and then you just draw you click and allow so something like that if you are not satisfied you can still do another something like this so it's just about you playing with the tool as you keep playing with it you get to have a design that might look interesting to you so i can still come up here and apply my uh, gradient overlay and you see from that we've just created something interesting you can transform you can even skew or warp it distort it as you want maybe take this dot you can distort it to whatever you want whatever you want so you can do something like this So it all depends on what you are trying to achieve but the basics the principle is to know how to design your brush and then you use your brush now to achieve whatever effect you want so please if this video was interesting if you learned anything at all from this video please do well to support me by liking this video drop a comment in the comment section if you have a question and i'm going to make sure i answer your question Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.